Now, we're not talking about the ruling of circumcision. Is it obligatory? Is it recommended? All the matter they differ. But there's something very interesting here that I want to share with you guys with regards to when the circumcision should be done. He says, that which we benefit from reading the athar of the Salaf, looking into the narrations, is that they would only circumcise the child when the child, he says, at shu'ur, when they were old enough to feel it and realize it, and not when they were directly born, in which they're already crying, coming out of the womb, etc. And they would delay it. They wouldn't do it early. They would circumcise the child, he says, ta'khiran hasanan, a bit later on, for the child to be taught. And for the child to get the psychological message of bearing hardship and pain and implementing the sharia. To instill in the child from a very young age is that you have to suffer a bit. And you have to taste bitter before you taste sweet. Just now look how profound that, that is now. To teach your son from a young, small, tiny age is that there's a bit of sting. And you have to be strong enough to bear the pain when it comes to implementing the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How much better would the world be if we had this basic concept in our heads. He says, even to the extreme of removing some skin and flesh and the spilling of blood. Extremely teaching the child is that there's bloodshed in Islam. And you have to be willing to spill some blood for Allah's sharia. And everything is not sweet and easy with regards to living as a Muslim.